Yo, what's good, y'all? This Reggie Cuts. Yo, what's good, y'all? This Reggie Cuts. Welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned, I just caught this 2021 Kawasaki Z125 Pro. I learned the first day. However, I have been learning a lot, so I wanted to show you guys how to ride one of these or a Grom if you have a Honda or really any bike in general just because it all is the same mechanics. Starting off, we got the kill switch. We don't like to cut or call the kill switch, so we're going to cut it. The we're going to call it the cutoff switch. Um, and then right here, this is how we start the engine. On my right hand, we got the throttle. My fingertips is going to be the front brake. And on the right side, we got the rear brake, a little peg just to put your feet on. And then we have um, the shifting thing right here. Down is first gear. A half a click up is neutral. All the way up, or the second click up, will be second gear. And then third, fourth, etc. And then working your way down, three, two, neutral and then first gear right here we got the um fingertips right here you're gonna pull in your clutch and then you got your lights your brights your left your right push in to cancel and then you got your horn not gonna do that because it's hella funny we got the ignition for the key go and then the tank it's just a one gallon so all the buttons are essentially um relatively simple and it is all the same for each bike and when you go to start your engine all you got to do is clutch in make sure your cutoff switch is down and you hold in the button um if you're in first gear don't let go of the clutch because you're going to stall out but if you're in neutral you can let go of the clutch once you're done um so we're going to get it started now we're started up since i'm in neutral i can let go of the clutch and this means my hands are off but once you're ready to go you're going to be in first gear now to let off in first gear on your clutch, it's going to be called the friction zone. So once you slowly let go, about 75%, you're going to start rolling. And you can roll up to a cool amount of speed, none too crazy. This is probably the fastest I'm going to go before I stall out. But once I do feel it starting to stall out and shudder, I'm going to clutch in and it's going to release and slowly start to slow down. But I could hear and feel my engine be turned on a lot more than if I just fully let go and then I stalled out. So once you do that, you start it back up again, it's no problem, and you could get rolling. But now once you want to start going a little faster, once it's about to cut off, you add a little bit of the gas into it, and now you're rolling, and you can let go of the clutch. You clutch in, and you brake with both feet, or with one foot, and with your hand as well, just to stop a lot smoother. Make sure the clutch is all the way in. Um, when you're going to shift, all you're going to do is pull in the clutch, you're going to shift into whatever gear it is and then slowly release and then give a little bit of throttle. When you do that, you want it to be a slow, a slow and a fluid motion um, just as it makes the gears a lot more enjoyable, I should say. And it's a smoother transition to where you actually um, aren't doing too much damage onto the bike. And like I said, it's a lot more of a enjoyable process. So once we get going, I'm going to show you guys how and other techniques that I use and picked up from learning. Oh, <laughs> look at me, I'm stalling. That I learned so far from riding. Um, there, there, there's a couple different things. I did take a motorcycle safety course the other day and if the volume on the audio sounds a little bit different, don't mind me, it's obviously because I closed the lid on my uh, my glass. But um, I was, I was saying I took a motorcycle safety course the other day and I, I learned a lot. And there was a lot that I could apply, definitely. Come on, man. Yeah, man. But I learned a lot. And I wanted to show you all how simple it is to ride a bike. And how you can apply this to any other bike. <laughs> Let's get it. So when it comes to stopping, first, you're going to want to clutch in. And then the fastest... And the most efficient way to stop is going to be to use the rear brake and the front brake at the same time. And then slowly start to drop the gears um, depending on what gear you are in or what speed you're going to. Oh wow. So if you're in first gear, I usually shift around 10 to like 15 uh, miles per hour. Second gear is going to be around 20 miles per hour. Third gear, 30 and then anything above 30 i'm in fourth gear so uh same thing when you're downshifting if you're going 20 miles an hour you're going to want to downshift to like 
second gear and then uh, slowly progress your way down you could downshift with your motor and that's just gonna essentially slow it without pressing the brakes but make sure you rev match just so your engine isn't going too high or like you, you'll feel the little like, uh, like this and it, it's just it's not smooth but once you're entering in a turn as we are right here you're gonna want to use spot which is speed aim position and turn so right here I, I adjust my speed I have my aim and then I'm turning my head on where I want to go and bringing the bike in the direction that I want to go as if or as my head turns so as I turn this curve I'm looking through the curve I tilt my head and the bike naturally leans if it doesn't go all the way as much as you want and you're turning out wide make sure you push in to the side of the handlebars that you're going to so example if you're turning left you want to push into the bar left and that is going to tilt your bike to where you lean and you start to turn in that curve if you're going out too wide like i said just push a little bit harder into the handlebars and you'll slowly start to turn in a whole lot more make sure your uh your knees are closed in on the gas tank because the more you're open right here the more close you are to the ground is scraping your knees and the less balance that you're going to have so approaching this turn again you're going to want to speed position aim turn so i'm going to slow down rev match apply a little bit of brake i'm going to look at where i want to go and then i'm going to just turn with it this curve it wasn't bad at all you don't need to do too much and on my way to work there isn't really much that i gotta do it's mostly just a straight shot which is cool but i also like to have turns just because it makes it a lot more fun like that's what makes bikes fun for sure but um as i was mentioning on uh, like basically going around the curve the aim is or position is going to be where you're at in the lane so you're either on the outside you're on the center or you're on the inside and once you're approaching the curve you want to be on the outside and then go in and then go back out it's going to be the most simplest way to attack a curve and um it's just yeah it's going to be a lot easier and it's a lot safer just because you don't want to go inside and then go out wide and then go off of the uh, the road so be careful with that when you are driving always make sure that your eyes are looking straight and on the road for other cars just like that one that had pulled out or if there was something in the road that you need to somehow just swerve around or if you need to uh, slowly or fastly stop whatever it is make sure that you are always looking straight and then right here again we got both brake both brakes applying and I'm just slowly downshifting I'm in neutral now I'm in first the reason why I'm in first is because at a light or any stop you want to be in position to make any adjustments so if there was a car coming in ahead of me and was just facing in the wrong direction or if there was a car come behind me that just wasn't stopping or whatever it is that you need to do um, even just being prepared for the light when it turns green you are in position so you have the clutch in and you're in first gear so that you are able to take off and you're able to maneuver in any situation in any circumstances this is important just for your safety and uh, another one your safety <laughs> um, also keeping your handlebars on or keeping your hands on the handlebars when you are at a stop is gonna be important just because if someone did hit you or if you were to fall or anything like that you would at least stay on the bike and if you wasn't holding on then you're more vulnerable to actually flying off and uh like especially when you're driving like if you're driving with one hand make sure you have real control because there's always speed bumps and there's like there's always things in the road that could really throw you off so if you're driving with no hands make sure it's only for like a second or two and you know where you're at or whatever it is just be safe if you're gonna do so uh, they do say lane splitting in California is legal so as long as you do carefully there is no actual legal laws when it comes to it so um, that means speed whatever it is as long as you're doing it safely you're okay with doing it um, and it's fun <laughs> I ain't gonna lie it, it, it's definitely fun just make sure you always check your shoulders and drive safe for sure um, what was it that I was gonna say uh, oh man there was something else oh so with the turning um i know it sounded kind of weird when i was talking about pushing in to the bar on whatever side you're trying to go to and it's because it does sound weird but it's science it's called counter steering if you push into the left 
your wheel it turns right but it slowly starts to lean into the side that you pushed so it sounds weird like I said but if you try it and I'll show you right here I'm gonna push into my right and I, I start turning excuse me <laughs> I start turning right it's, it's pretty crazy but there's also um, another types of turning when uh, it's a lot more of a sharper turn I'm gonna show y'all right quick um, so let's see let's say I'm adjusting my speed right here and then I'm turning in now I'm leaning to the left although I'm turning right and this is helping balance the bike out this is for a lot more of a sharper turn it isn't going to be for something that you're going out super wide or anything like that but um again right here i'm turning left but i'm leaning to the right and this is just helping the balance and uh having the bike maintain Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. i never hit speed bumps like that before i was in second gear hoping that it didn't rev too high but getting back on the road we're gonna turn on the left blinker, downshift. Whoa! <laughs> you gotta pay attention to traffic, Roddy. Damn you, boy. Look at myself slipping. Anyways, y'all, um, if you do take that safety course, I definitely highly recommend it. Um, I learned a lot and it, it really got me excited to drive more and especially drive more safety or safely there was a lot of stuff that I learned and there was just a lot of more learning to go but I could say I picked up pretty quick actually there was another one so when you're shifting gears you just want to roll your wrist right here I'm just giving it throttle and I'm rolling it rolling it rolling it and then I'm slowly or you know, I'm slowly releasing the clutch because when you're uh when you're coming out of gear you want to slowly do it or your bike is gonna ah, 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 jolt type shit you know but as long as you slowly right here it's gonna be a smooth and a lot better of a transition when you are shifting into gears when i was first starting i was just releasing the clutch hella fast and just pushing it all the way down and it was just jerky and it was like it was unenjoyable and also on top of that i wasn't getting the right speed that i was looking for so the the more i was shifting a lot more smoothly pulling in the clutch and releasing at a good time with the um the friction zone and giving it the gas at the same time and just rolling my wrist it was a lot more smooth but anyways y'all i appreciate you for watching and if you did pick up anything from this video make sure you like comment subscribe whatever it is i hope that if you do get a bike you'll learn just as quick as me and we're doing it safely these grums are tight these kawasaki's are dope and uh i can't wait to keep get better at this and continue to upgrade on this bike anyways y'all i appreciate y'all y'all have a good day peace